If you take a look at this video from my InShot series, you'll notice that I show you how to animate text. In response to this viewer question, I'm going to show you how to animate text on a blank background. It's now possible to include a blank title card at the beginning, in the middle, or at the end of any video. Open the InShot app by tapping on it, then tap on Video to start a video project. Then either tap on New or tap on an existing draft. For this tutorial, I'm using an existing draft. I'll play the video clip to the end and then add a blank title card with some animated text on it that just says thanks for watching. When the clip reaches the end, I'll tap on the plus sign and tap on blank instead of photo or video. Next, I'll tap on canvas. And then I'll choose background and change the background color to black. I'll tap on the check mark once I'm done. Then I'll move the playhead back to the beginning of the blank title card. And I'll tap the text icon. You can either type text or tap the history icon, the little clock in the upper right hand corner of the panel to add your text. If you use the history icon, it will place the text on screen with all the formatting that was previously applied. Next, I'll choose an animation after tapping on the Animations tab. If you missed how to get to the Animations tab, stay tuned to the end of the video as I will also create a title card at the beginning of the clip. If you're using the Pro version of InShot, you have access to these looping animations, but since I'm assuming this viewer is using the free version, I'll choose an animation from the basic animations above it. Once you choose your animation, you can add an extra blank title card on the end so that you can clearly see the out animation that I've chosen. Now I'll move to the beginning of the video to add another blank title card. I'll tap on the plus sign and then tap on blank once more. You should only have to set the background color once. Now I'll tap on the text icon and I'll use the history icon once more. Remember that you can also type whatever text you want. Notice that when you use the history icon it retains the formatting of text that you've previously applied. You can pinch and zoom to resize and reposition the text. If your text disappears, make sure the playhead is over top of the green text layer. Otherwise, you won't see the text. To animate my text, I'll have to resize it a little bit by pinching it down so that I can tap on the pencil to bring up the animation settings. I'll need to make sure the text is selected once I resize it, then tap on the pencil. I'll tap on the moving icon to bring up my animation settings, which are the same as before. Noticed in is selected. This is the animation for when the text first appears on the screen. I'll select an animation for both in and out and then make sure that the text box is centered. Notice that I'll have to add a second blank title card here as well so that you have time to clearly see the out animation. That looks great. Here's the end card.
Make sure that the playhead is in the exact position where you want to add the second blank title card. If I scrub to the end card, notice that there's three blank end cards added here. I only need two, so I'll tap on one of the blank end cards without the text and remove it by tapping on the trash can icon. Then I'll tap the share icon and tap on save. Don't interrupt the export at this point because if you do, you may have to repeat the export process because the video may not export properly. When the export is finished, you'll find the completed exported video inside your camera roll. The export has completed successfully. Here's the title card. The video clip begins to play. And now you'll see the end card with the in animation and the out animation, which you can clearly see.